What's up guys, um, here for another little, um, tutorial, but this time it's a modeling tutorial. Um, I got a comment on one of my videos, I think it was on this one, yeah, um, slide R27, yeah, a whole bunch of numbers, he wants, uh, tutorial for the speaker, and, um, I'm gonna show you how to make it, um, so start up a new, um, Looks like he, anyways, start up a new um, scene or folder or file or whatever you want to call it, Cinema 4D, and put in a cube. Um, <clears throat> now we're going to come into the attributes um, panel over here, and we're going to change the sizes around. For the, um, the X, change it to 375. For the Y, 545. And for the Z, 370, no, not three, 375. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to lift it up so it's aligned with the floor. And we got the basic shape now of our speaker. Now what we're going to do is, um, on speakers, you don't really see these sharp corners, so we're going to click the fillet. Now, if you're looking at that, um you'll know and you'll see that's way too big of a fillet so let's bring our fillet radius down to 10 seems good let's go with 10 all right everything's looking good now we're going to play with the segments here so if we crank up the segments to 20 on the x-axis mm, 25 Five on the Z a uh, on the Y axis. Now we don't need any on the Z axis. It's fine like this. And now we can um, once you have all of this done, you can come over here to the left and make it editable or hit C on your keyboard. And then I'm just gonna name this speaker box because this is our speaker box here. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to model the little, um, thing on the top. It's, it's called a tweeter. It's the thing that plays the high pitch noises of songs. So to do that, I'm going to come in the front view and I'm just going to change my display from quick shading to lines. Oops. We don't want that. And after I've done this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a tube into my scene. And in the tubes attribute panel, there's a thing called orientation. Change it to Z plus and drag it up to around the top ish of our speaker. Um, and then now we're going to play with all of these settings here. So we're going to go in a radius, let's try 70, um, oh, it's too big, let's try, let's try 50 for our inner radius, um, our outer radius, let's try 100, uh, we have to push this to the front, uh, for our height, let's give it like uh, 10, should be good and put it just on the outside of it 10 would be fine um, actually let's give it 20 and we can pull it out a little bit further um wait if i give it 10 coming coming to the side view i can push it out further anyway like that that's perfect. I'm just going to do 10 and then I'm going to come into the right view and um, put a 10. Um, if you're noticing that I'm not clicking the views button up here, it's because um, a shortcut to switch on the views is to click your center mouse button and it's just it's quicker than um, moving your mouse up here, clicking it and doing all that garbage. Um, so after we got this, 
Uh, let's crank up the rotation segments so that it looks more round. So I'm going to put 70 for me. And then I'm going to put a fillet on it. And if I take that off, that's a little bit too much of a fillet. So I'm going to change it down to... I'm going to change it down to 2. 2 seems like a, a good fillet. And um, I'm going to put the fillet segments down to 6. And then after we got um, all of this, we, our speaker's kind of taking shape. Um, this kind of looks big. It looks a little big. So I'm just going to drag it up a little bit more. I'm trying to vi visualize this. Um, I'm going to bring this down to 40 for the center. And then I'm uh, going to bring this down to 90 for the outer one. Because we have to have room for our big um, sub or our woofer. So after we have this, um, doesn't that doesn't look like a tweeter yet. So then we're going to insert a sphere. And we're going to change the radius to not 70, 40. Right? And then we're going to come into our front view again. And then we're going to lift it up so it's perfectly aligned in our, in our uh, tube here. Then you can come into the other view. And you can just pop it in there like that. And you can kind of see now that that looks like it's sticking out a little bit much. So we're going to click on our sphere, come in coordinates, and on the Z, we're going to change it to 0.7. And now you can see our sphere has um, flattened a bit. So kind of just... Uh, makes it so it's not sticking out as far. It, it looks like the exact same, but just fixes a couple of things. I'm just gonna fix the positioning of this so it's perfectly centered. Um, and I'm gonna drag it out a little bit more. Alright, now um, we're just gonna add a little uh, detail things to the to the tweeter. We're gonna grab um, a sphere, and we're gonna change the radius of our sphere to. Let's see. If I put that right there. It's a little big. We're gonna change the radius to five. And then we're going to come grab a cloner object under the MoGraph section. Um, it's cloner. And drop our sphere into the cloner object. Now in our cloner object, um, if you click on object in it, uh, the mode is currently linear. And that means it's a straight line. And we don't want that. We want it to be radial. We want it to be in a circle. So now we can drag this up to the center of our tweeter and you can see that um, <clears throat> it's in uh, a nice little circle but um, our radius isn't big enough so we're just going to play with it so it goes into the center of our tweeter so 65 radius will be nice for our tweeter and the count is 5 I don't want 5 I only want 3 and uh, 3 will be good for me um, Zero offset, offset very zero. And everything else seems good. Oops. Um, now we're going to come into our right view and we're just going to push our spheres up till they come out of our um, tweeter here. So when I render it, you can see, you can see the three little things that kind of looks like screws that are holding the tweeter in. And now for our main um, woofer here. Uh, you can either do one, you can do one out of two things here. You can create a cylinder the size of the woofer that you want and you can bool it. You can use the bool tool to make a hole or you can um, come to the polygon uh, mode here, the large round square, grab 
uh, your lab selection tool and make sure only select visible elements is on. Come to our front view here and you can select the polygons kind of like a circle here. I don't know. In like a circular fashion here. I don't really like this way because then you gotta cover things up and it doesn't look the best so like you can see it you you kinda gotta know which ones to select. So in this tutorial I'm gonna use the bool option. So I'm gonna grab a cylinder. I'm gonna change it to Z plus. I'm gonna drag it up right here. And then I'm gonna play with our radius until I find a good um speaker size and I think this would be fine so that's not what I wanted to do now what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna drag this up till it comes out of our speaker so we can see it we're gonna come under the array tab and we're gonna go bool and now what we're gonna do is with our speaker box we're gonna drag the speaker box in and then we're gonna drag the cylinder in um, you notice that um, now you can only see the cylinder that's because um, you need to drag the speaker box on top so everything's good and now we have a nice big um, hole that the woofer can sit in um, also with the woofer there are there's a cone so we're gonna come make a cone object again we're gonna come into our front view change it to Z plus I believe yeah, Z plus. We're gonna drag it so this is right the beginning of the hole there, and we're gonna make it the same size as our cylinder hole we had, <clears throat> which I do not remember the exact size, but it's someplace around 142. And, um, but if you come back here, it's just the cone is flat. And um, I'm trying to think how uh, you I think the only way that you can remove the bottom is by making it editable coming into the polygon mode selecting the polygons and deleting them and now we got a cone but um i'm noticing now that this cone is much too deep so i'm gonna um control z so undo until uh, we get it back to normal and I'm just gonna go with the height. I'm gonna play with it so it's kind of like that. And then I'm gonna reposition the speaker. And we're gonna try it again. So I'm just gonna come in the front view. I find it easier. Delete. Oops. Does that look about right? I think that looks about right. Um, now that we got our cone, um, actually, what what we might want to do is um, select our uh, tube sphere and and cloner object, <coughs> uh, all our tweeter, and click Alt G to make a null object and put it in a group, and just name this tweeter. So we're kind of organized. Um, we can put this as woofer hole <clears throat> and then everything else can wait um, now with now that we got our tube set up um, well not our tube sorry um, our cone set up we're gonna finish the woofer but once <coughs> Alright, sorry about that. 
Okay, now, we, now we're just going to finish our woofer hole. I'm going to come in the front view again. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a torus. And I'm going to, again, orientation Z+. Plus. And I'm going to place it so that um, it's around our woofer hole. And I'm going to play with the radiuses of the torus so that um, when we put it like this I'm not sure if you can tell what I'm doing but it's going to be like the outside of our woofer like so and um, it's going to put some more rings so it renders smoother well not smoother but looks nicer and now that we have our um, the little thing around our woofer, we're going to go ahead and add the last touch of our speaker, which is a uh, sphere. And we're going to put this sphere right in the middle of the speaker. Just trying to get it right in the middle. Zoom in a bit, I'll make it easier. There we go, perfect. We're gonna drag this out. So, so the center of the object is right at the end of our cone here. And if you look, this is this is a massive thing, so we're just gonna drag it down to around 45. And um, there you go. This is basically how you can make as the speaker. And um, it's actually can be a bit bigger. I'm just going to put 50. Um, and if you wanted the animation, um, he also asked for the animation here. All I did is I selected these three objects. I put a keyframe. And then two keyframes later, I pushed it up a bunch. And then two keyframes later, I put it back to like its starting position. And then I, two keyframes later, I pushed up a little. Two keyframes later, I pushed it back a little. And then it gives you the back and forth. And if you really want, you can just highlight them all, control drag them out, control drag them out, and just continue doing that. And then it gives you that kind of movement. Um, this is actually a pretty simple, I guess it could be a beginner's modeling tutorial. Um, also, <clears throat> if you grab our three objects to make the woofer, you can just click Alt-G, name it woofer, and, and then it's all organized. And this is basically how you can make a simple speaker in Cinema 4D. There's a lot of different speakers, but this is the one that I showed you how to make because it's the one I know how to make. Um, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope you felt that you found it useless. Uh, useful, not useless. Oh, God, I can't talk right now. Anyways, um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.